Stuart Netsky has been a presence on the Philadelphia art scene for decades, and I finally got to meet him on March 11th. My name is Stuart Netsky, and I'm having a one-person show at Gross McLeaf Gallery in Philadelphia, and welcome to the show. I heard that about 30 years ago, you were an activist artist who had a big show at Philadelphia's Institute for Contemporary Art. Yes, and very much all about AIDS. Stuart mixed AZT, an early AIDS drug, with cornstarch and made molds. I did these castings that were out of AIDS drugs and did some out of Valium as well. <laughs> you don't look like the kind of guy who needs Valium. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Although there is imagery of deadly microbes, Stewart's new show is more about aesthetics than activism. The show is a collection of new works based on Boucher paintings and then editing slices of imagery, color, and patterns almost in a psychedelic way. I understand how you can appropriate Boucher images, but the more psychedelic parts, how are they generated? I search for fractals, Mandelbrot, and then I play with it, enhance or change the color. There's a darkness to the palette of some of them, not in terms of low chroma, but the colors are actually dark. Is that intentional? Yes, everything is intentional. I mean, some things happen by accident in the process of putting an image together, but everything is purposeful and by choice. Are you using Photoshop? The color is enhanced by using Photoshop, and I use Photoshop to splice the images together. What's the connection between the Rococo and the psychedelic era. They're both excessive. That's how I see them. Excessive in a bad way or a fun way? Oh, in a fun way. I love excess, so yes, it's very much in a fun way. You're known as a gay artist, I guess I can say that. Yes. Are there themes that relate to that in this work? Not necessarily, no, although I have written about the work as being a drag display of sorts and how that might relate to a camp sensibility. So in that sense, yes, but I think that for the viewer, that that isn't an issue that I'm trying to communicate or deal with. It's something more personal to my own choices. How important is creating artworks that are, frankly, beautiful to you? Is that a part of your aesthetic? Yes, it's very much part of my aesthetic, and it's very important to me that they be beautiful because I really love and celebrate beauty in all aspects. My love of fashion, my love for women, and in one piece I chose to include Elizabeth Taylor, all of that connects to a kind of love and embrace of beauty. There's a number of pieces that have three-dimensional elements on top of a painting. In particular, the antlers and the somewhat phallic flowers emanating from the young woman's lower area. Yes. What is your question? <laughs> what gave you the idea to do that? The piece came about by research about that Fragonard painting, The Swing. If you draw a line, the man is pointing up through her skirt to her vagina. And so I decided to add the cake 
in that area and retitle it, have your cake and eat it too. The piece with the antlers is a Boucher painting, Diana after the hunt. And I wanted to celebrate her power by putting antlers on her head. After she converted Acteon into a stag so that his own dogs would chew him to parts. Right, <laughs> right. Was that a question? Yeah. So the dogs aren't going to go after her, hopefully? No, the dogs won't go after her. They might go after Liz, but <laughs> they won't go after Diana. And then there's a series of skate deck pieces, which use imagery from Fragonard, Boucher, Lucio Fontana, Victor Vassarelli, on top of either flea market paintings or my own that I've attached the skate decks to. The first one that I made is titled, Why Do Artists Make Skate Decks? Because I was completely befuddled when I started to see artists design skate decks. I still don't understand it, but I started then to make my own. Did you ever do a little skateboarding yourself? Could I find you no, over at Love Park? I wish I could. I wish I could. Uh, I have a bad back, and I don't, I don't think at my age I can skate. But uh, I'd love to. I love the skate culture and watching it. Thrilled that it's an Olympic sport, so. Really, really great show. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. You can catch Stuart Netsky's beautiful show at Gross McLeaf through March 25th, 2023.